Where are those birdies, Jamie? Oh. There are no birdies. No birdies? You scared them. He scared them. That doesn't surprise me. Good morning, everybody. It's been a long time. It's been over a month since you've heard from us. We have not recorded a regular show, but that's okay. We've been super, super busy. So, what have we been up to, babe? We went away. We went away. Take we back awake and had an operation. Yes. And now I'm still recovering. So, I said on my last vlog that we were going to take mm. a, a hiatus, and I decided that I was going to reorganize and clean, deep clean our entire house. Uh huh. How's that been going? Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> it drives Richie crazy, but. Anywho, I am so happy. I mean, when I say deep clean, I mean go into our storage room and pull out boxes that I haven't looked at probably literally in 20 years, maybe more. I found tax forms from the 80s, from before Rich and I were married. That's insane. Mm. So they're gone. It's gone. Well, they're actually upstairs. I need to bring them to get shredded, but... Staples has a shredding service where they have bins and you just put them in locked bins and they take them and shred them. So that's what I'm going to do with those. And yeah, so that's what I've been doing. I'm so happy. I'm going away this weekend with our daughter and it was so easy to pack. Bam, bam, I have everything. I know where everything is. It takes me 10 minutes to pack. It's so much easier. So tell about our vacation. No, we'll do that in a podcast. Oh, okay. I don't want to go into all that. I'm not no, 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 no. <laughs> so we went to Disney. I'm just going to briefly touch on it. <clears throat> we went to Disney. We had a fabulous time. Oh, my goodness. So, yeah. So that's about it. Anything else, honey? He, Rich had an eye operation. I don't know if you can see. His left eye is very red. You're awfully quiet today. See? Yeah, and he hasn't been feeling well at all the last couple days. Mm. So I was going to record a show this week, and I didn't because it was longer recovery on your surgery than you thought, wasn't it? Well, yeah. Yeah, it really the stitches was. stitches in your eye make it feel like you got dirt stuck in there, and you can't touch it, you can't go near it, you can't get it wet. <clears throat> it drives you insane. Yeah, and poor guy. It's been, mm, I, I felt so bad. Because it leaks constantly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. But Jamie's doing awesome. Tom is doing awesome. We hired a pet sitter while we were gone, even though Troy was home. But Troy's busy with school and stuff. And he loved the pet sitter and did really well. Look at that sweet little boy. It's a little baby. Hello. Huh? Hello. Where's the birdies? You see those birdies? Yes. So, yeah. So, anyway... It's been an interesting six weeks <laughs> since I've seen you. So I'm hoping to record next week. I dyed some yarn. There are no Valentine's Day yarns. <laughs> I kind of missed that holiday. And I'll have a bag and a matching yarn for you. The bag is adorable. Love it. So that's about it. Okay. All right. That's it. Bye. Bye. So the main reason that I wanted to vlog today was to show you my dad's finished sweater. If you followed Vlogmas, you will have seen me knit the sweater, talk about the sweater. It was supposed to be finished for Christmas. Today is uh, February 7th. That didn't happen because, um, yeah, I did the button band um, right after Christmas and was going to mail it out before we went, we went away. And I realized I messed it up. So I had to deal with that when I got back. And it just took me another couple weeks. Okay, so here is the finished sweater. This is for my dad. He is 93 years old. He wanted a button up, 
cardigan because he has trouble putting pullovers on and you know it's kind of cold he lives in Florida and the air conditioning gets to him so I used Amy Herzog's formula uh, custom fit I will link to the website below and I just plugged in numbers and kind of designed my own sweater this sweater is knit in pieces two fronts a back and two sleeves all knit flat and seamed together so if you want to see some of the seaming I did some of it during vlogmas and here is here whoop my mannequin is broken so here's one of the side seams you really can't even tell I mattress stitched it it came out amazing the seam is right here I mean look at that it's super hard to do this one hand anyway here's the shoulder sleeve seam again mattress stitch I set in this sleeve I think it came out really really nice Oh, this mannequin so I'm gonna have to throw this mannequin away <laughs> This mannequin is is listing. Unfortunately, it came loose from its tripod, and yeah, it's it's dead. <laughs> so anyway, I uh, seamed this sweater together, and that took me a really long time. It took me, I want to say, a couple weeks off and on because I wanted to do it in the daylight up here in my stash room. So yeah that took a while and then I did the button band and the reason why it took even longer was first of all I had to rip out the bind off the first time this bind off here because I felt it was just a little bit too tight so I did a modified version of um, Jenny's stretchy bind off and I will link to that in the show notes where you bind off you yarn over every other stitch instead of every stitch and it's fabulous you guys I love it maybe I'll do a little tutorial when I get back um, from my weekend I'm going away this weekend I'll talk more about that later but anyway so I had to rip out the bind off redid that then I blocked the button band I had already blocked the sweater I blocked the button band and realized that I messed up the, the buttonhole placement. So this is like a sh kind of a short v-neck, which I hope he likes. I probably should have made it a little more of a v-neck, but it's hard with the Amy Herzog plug in your numbers. I made it kind of a shallow v-neck, which I think will be better for him. It'll keep him warmer. But anyway, so I had the buttonhole here so there was all this fabric in between the V and the first buttonhole because I didn't really know where the V started it was really kind of hard to see before I blocked it so I had the first buttonhole here and that looked terrible so I ripped the entire button band out ask me if that was fun it was not and I re picked up everything and redid the whole button band which took me another week and a half because I just can't be rushed I can't be rushed like gift knitting I don't do a lot of gift knitting because I just have to take my time with things so yeah anyway I like to do things in the light so I can see what I'm doing and whatnot so I redid it and then re I had marked where the V was before I ripped it so I knew and then I put the buttonhole here which is right at the top of the V which is actually I think really perfect so the buttonholes I used were as old as buttonhole and I'm very happy with them they're very stable the pattern really just says to yarn over but I, I, 
no that's going to stretch out too much this is a lovely stable buttonhole and it actually i did a four stitch buttonhole and it fits the button perfectly without stretching out so i will also link to isolda's uh, tutorial in the show notes it's a free tutorial on her website not video but um pictorial and it's it's perfect it's also in little red in the city if you have that book by Isolda so I did not I tried this on it does not fit me but that's fine because it was not made for me it was made for my father so he has very broad shoulders so this armhole which does not fit my mannequin and did not fit me should fit him fine his, his shoulders should come out to here and I measured him the sleeves I'm hoping aren't too long I mean if they are and they bug him I can cut them and redo you know make them shorter so we'll see um, the length of it should be fine again I tried this on it does not fit me because I'm curvy and this does not it fits over my bust but it pulls you that's why I hate cardigans because I just can never get them correct across my bust so that it doesn't pull the buttons I'm sure I should just make it a little bit bigger but anyway this was not designed to fit me it was designed to, to fit my dad again in the hips I have curvy hips this was, I think I knit it, it's a 41 a circumference, and I'm my hips are a 41, so it has zero ease on me in the hips, which I don't really like in a cardigan, but again, not made for me. I think it'll fit him just fine. It's made for a man. Um, you know, there's no way shaping at all and has nice broad shoulders and yeah so that's it that's basically dad's sweater i designed it myself using amy herzog's website it is knit in pieces for stability bottom up everything's bottom up knit flat seamed button band added later oh i just wanted to mention it's a man's sweater so i put the buttons on the right buttonholes on the left there is history behind that why men's are different than women's although it's becoming more blurred now um but that's i asked him where he wanted his buttons and he said he wanted them on the right so there they are this is going in the mail today guys <laughs> i'm putting it in a mailer and taking it to the post office as soon as i finish recording this vlog there's the boy looking out the window. Tommy. Psst, psst, psst. Kiki. Oh, there's the baby. Say hi to the people. I'm sure they've missed seeing you too. You're a good boy. I have a cat tree up here in my stash room because he likes to come visit. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit about a sweater I've been working on. And it's taking me so so much longer than I expected so I'm going to show you that right now so the sweater is fern and feather by Jen Steingas and yeah I'm using Brooklyn Tweed Shelter um, in this navy blue color which is beautiful it has little flecks of different colors in it I don't know if you can see but yeah and then a white contrast and I hate knitting with it no fault of the yarn it's the gauge so I'm knitting this at an 18 stitch gauge and when I did my swatch in the round I had to use a size 6 needle to get the 18 stitch gauge because this yarn stretches when you block it so i blocked my swatch this swatch grew exponentially so 
I couldn't use a seven or an eight because the gauge would have been huge. So I had to use a six. And let me tell you, it's a little tight without being blocked and it hurts my hands and I hate it. <laughs> I am going to persevere. I'm not going to do, okay. So the other thing is the color work was really fun. I, I went up a needle size for the color work. I used a seven color works fine. Um, Jen Stein guest does short row shaping on the back of the sweater. So it's a pretty cool feature. However, I kept putting this sweater down for weeks and then picking it back up again. Don't do that. <laughs> if you're going to do short rows, do them all in one go because you will mess them up like I did. I ripped out the body short rows three times. And then one time I had put them on the front instead of the back because I just kept putting it down and then I didn't know where I was and it, it was just a nightmare. So it's done now. All I need to do is stuck in it in the round on the body, which is fine. It's a little tight. It's hurting my hands, but go, I'm powering through like about an three quarters of an inch a day probably. And then the sleeves and it's done. So the neckline, I, if you watch my vlogs over Christmas, if you haven't seen my Christmas vlogs, watch them because I did talk a little bit about other sweaters that I knit. I did not want this neckline to be, I like a higher neck. I don't like these wider necklines at all. So she has a wider neckline version and I knit the more tight neckline version. And I actually cast on for a smaller size. Thank you. Amy Florence for that tip. Cast on for a smaller size, increase to my size. So the neck is pretty, it fits. Um, and once it's blocked, it'll be perfect. So the neck is, should fit fine. And I also did some more stockinette um, rounds on this because it's a roll neck. So you wouldn't see the floats because some of these sweaters, if you look on Ravelry, if you don't put enough stockinette in, when it rolls, you'll see the floats on the inside, and I didn't want that. So once this sweater is finished and blocked, I think it's going to be amazing. I'm not doing any waist shaping. I knit a 39. My bust is a, like a 37, so that'll give me two inches of ease. I might do some increases for the hips because my hips are a 41. But it's going to be a nice, cozy sweater once it's done and blocked. So, yeah. So, I've worked on some other things. I'm not going to talk about them today. You'll see them in the show. Hopefully, I'll record this week. You can see behind me some yarn I dyed. Um, that will be going up next week. Can you guess the theme? It is a Disney franchise. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to do a series of colorways based on Disney movies and shows. So, yeah, watch for that. I'm very excited about it. And you don't have to be a Disney fan to like the yarn because it's this could be anything. But I'm super excited about, <laughs> about the colors. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for sticking with us and stay tuned for a regular knit style show and I will be doing more of these vlogs as I finish sweaters and I'll be talking about them more. Maybe I'll throw in some tutorials. Maybe I'll do a tutorial on Zolda's buttonhole since it's free. So yeah, it was nice chatting with you today. Cheers! Smile.